This is Tampa Bay, Florida, home to boating and water sports enthusiasts and home to a lot of sports teams. Surrounding the bay is the city of Tampa to the east and St. Petersburg on the west coast. Just north is the city of Clearwater. It's a really cool place to live. <laughs> okay, so it gets pretty hot most days. I enjoy spending the summer here with my friends. There's lots to do. And it's fun actually to do, well, <laughs> a lot of nothing. Hanging out at the beach with friends is always a blast. Jenna, she's like a sister to me. Her brother married my stepsister. We went through our entire high school together, but she can be trouble at times. That's Lance, her boyfriend. He's her knight in shining armor. Lance's best friend is Nate, pretty level-headed guy, but I'm just getting to know him. Tina recently moved here with her dad. We met during registration for college. We're all starting college soon. The same school, which is pretty cool. And there I am. That's me, Lily. I've been a foster child most of my life. It was pretty rough until I was taken in by a really cool family from one of the local churches. I love my foster parents and my friends. We're all having an awesome time together this summer. <laughs> At least we're trying to. So come along with us as we walk on water. goes down with the ship. <laughs> you guys need to stay on land before you drown yourselves. Just look at you. Thanks a lot, sweetie. That air is cold. I'm out of here. Hey! What does this look like? It ain't valet parking. nowhere unless you put some power into that swing. All right, Captain. Do you remember what happened the last time you started giving orders? Do you want to get back in the water again? <laughs> you just try. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I think you're supposed to use your hands instead, you dizzy girl. Hey, Lance, man. Can you give me a ride down to 66 Street so I can pick up my car from the garage? Sure, dude. Hey, wait. You want to ride with us? Nah, man, I'm out of here. Between this volleyball stuff and wrangling that boat in for you guys, I'm beat. All right, catch you later, dude. Hey, what time are we meeting up to go out tonight? After 7. 
I'll call you. <laughs> See you, Dizzy girl. Hey, thanks for coming out with us today, Tina. You're pretty good at spiking that ball. Thanks for inviting me. I had fun. So, Lily tells me she knows you from registration? Yeah, she signed up for all the smart classes. <laughs> I'll just be glad if I can get a degree. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lily, are you coming out with us tonight? Oh, no, I've got a meeting tonight. Oh, is it Sunday already? Ha ha. You're telling me it's not church this time? Maybe it is. You're a trip, girl. Hey, you coming with us? Sure. Where are you going? Ybor. Where's that? Tina, why do you want to go with them? They'll just get into trouble, you know. Cool. <laughs> decided where you're going to live when classes start? Not with uh, Jenna's brother and his wife still, right? Nah, man. It's getting our own place. That's cool. Wait, our? Yeah, me and Jenna. You and Jenna? Whoa. <laughs> what? Kind of a big step, isn't it? Big step? What are you talking about? You guys are not that serious, are you? Maybe. Besides, we want you guys to move in with us. We've already found an awesome four bedroom. Four? There's five of us, Jenna. Well, me and Jenna will share a room. Plus it will be less expensive that way. What, man? Duh. You think it's a bad idea? Your life just... You guys aren't married, much as even thinking about it. Do you see what I have to put up with from Preacher Girl here? It's just living together. It's to save money, right? I don't know, man. That may be more of a commitment than you're bargaining for. I mean, what if you find someone else you want to date? Then I'll date. And how do you think she's going to feel about that? <laughs> hey, I still have my freedoms. I never agreed to play house. have different ideas than she does on this whole arrangement. He feels the same way I do. We love each other. And why would we get separate places to live when we can't even afford to? Well, I'm not moving anywhere. My dad just moved down here and I gotta stay with him. Great. Well that really helps us out. 
And what about you, Lily? This is a club we're going to, right? Drinking, dancing. Why are you so nervous about this? It's no big deal. to wear to this Eeyore thingy we're going to. <laughs> it's Ebor. Just look nice. You know, what you normally wear out to clubs. You guys are crazy. Don't be trying to take away all our fun. There's nothing wrong with going out and doing a little dancing. I do it all the time. I just pray you guys stay out of trouble. You see, Tina? That's why I never worry. Got Mother Teresa over here praying for us all the time. Well, I'm not going if I can't find anything cute to wear. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be great. Why don't you come with me? I'm sure I have something you can borrow to wear. Thanks. You coming with us, Lily? No, I've got to run an errand and then go home before my meeting tonight. OK, suit yourself. interesting. I haven't worn that old thing in a long time. Oh, the hemline's too short for me. <laughs> you want to get noticed tonight, don't you? Oh, is this about hooking up with boys? Well, that's up to you, but don't you want to dress to impress? This is a club we're going to, right? Drinking, dancing. <laughs> Why are you so nervous about this? It's no big deal. Why isn't Lily going? You want to go there, do you? What do you mean? Her stepsister married my brother. I know all about her. Stepsister? Well, sort of. She was fostered by this religious family she still lives with. They put all these ideas in her head. Anyway, their daughter married my brother. Hmm, I see. I ideas like, like what? You know, like... You can't do this, you can't do that. Just be all boring and go to church all the time. That's where she is tonight? Of course. <laughs> so, they make her go by all these rules? Something like that. Heck, she's a grown woman. She can do whatever she wants. Maybe it is what she wants. Well, I just don't get that. I still love her like a sister, though. That means no making fun of her, okay? Only I get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're not religious much. Much? How about not at all? That's cool. And what about you? No. Yes. Uh, I mean, I believe in God. Sounds religious to me. Spiritual. Not religious, maybe. Maybe. What about this? Sure, you can take that. Not bad, girl. Hey, let's get out of here before my mom gets home and starts on me about moving out. She does know you found a place, right? Yeah, but I didn't give her all the details. Let's bail. <laughs> This stuff on your car, dude? Usually do. Why? What's wrong with it? Well, it's cheap. Next time I'll bring you the stuff I use. It's pretty awesome. I put it on Jenna's car, too. <laughs> you guys must be getting pretty serious. I mean, sharing your car wax and everything. Are you gonna start getting on me about us living together again? Like I said, 
We want you and Lily and her friend to all move in with us. Share the expense. Ah, oh, man, if I could afford it. And besides, my parents already have it set up for me to be living in the dorm. It'd be really hard to get out of that deal. They wouldn't pay for it if it saved them money? Maybe next year, dude. You know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just glad to get out of here. And besides, you and Jen and I want the whole place to yourselves. I mean, if you guys get serious. Couples do it all the time these days, Nate. You know, see what the big deal is. Well, I hear Lily isn't going to go for it, so it might end up that way anyway. Yeah, I knew she wouldn't. But Jenna was hoping for it. So, what's with her? She's like a Christian, right? Yeah, she is. But you know, I went to church when I was a kid. I understand where she's coming from. Jenna gets furious about it, though. Why's that? Uh, she just feels someone shouldn't be thrusting their religion on others. Hmm. Okay, now what? It's just interesting. How's that? Well, Jen doesn't seem to be down with all that Christian stuff, but it doesn't seem to bother you. Yeah, so? Well, you guys really aren't on the same page with your spirituality. She has no spirituality. You see what I mean? Go on. Well, I mean, don't you think that could become a problem? You know, down the line, if you guys get serious? Well, I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> Deal with that later. Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Uh... I guess. I don't know. Jeez, take it easy, man. You're getting all analytical on me. I'm just concerned about your decision. Huh? Your decision to move in with Jenna. Well, I'm not concerned. What's the worst that could happen? We get along and save money sharing the rent. Or we split up and still split the rent. <laughs> Wake? Man, you put some kind of shine on her, aren't you? Whoa, man. That's some pricey stuff right there. Nice. I sure wish I could afford some of that instead of those surfboard blanks I use. <laughs> What are you doing here? Want to chat with God? Hey, uh, what's up? Uh-oh. 
Huh? You want something. You have that look in your eye. Uh, I just came by to see how you were doing. You came all the way to church just to see how I'm doing? Hmm. So, this is where you go? Yeah, I help them out with their homeless ministry. And we bring food to shut-ins. I see. Hey, you know, it's cool how you're befriending Tina. You know, loaning her your clothes and all. Well, any friend of my favorite sister-in-law is a friend of mine. Okay, you definitely want something. Spit it out. Come on, out with it. I just wondered if you might... Well, since you won't move in with us... Look, we need another signature on the lease. Jeez, how many you got? Lance can't because his credit's bad. You won't have to be responsible for anything. Just co-sign with me, okay? You guys don't think about that kind of thing much, do you? Jenna here doesn't believe in God. She's what you call an atheist. You know, I'm really getting sick and tired of your holier-than-thou attitude. Why don't you keep your precious values and your smothering rules to yourself? When college starts back up, there's gonna be way too many girls to settle down with one. She just gets silly sometimes. That's your woman. We don't want to deal with them about it right now. I just want to get the heck out of here.